think we can all agree that it's been a strange couple of years. Who knew that so much could happen in that short time since I asked Jenny to marry me almost three years ago? Even more so, who knew that when Jenny's mum walked into my room <laughs> almost ten years ago, <laughs> was I only about three minutes away from meeting my future wife? <laughs> now, a few of my sandwiches have been stolen here, but I wasn't going to go as far as using the word cougar. <laughs> But either way, lots of information, and I guess the rest is history, so we'll move on from that time. But ever since that day that Jenny was introduced to me, she's become fundamental to every part of my life, and I couldn't imagine it without her. There isn't really enough time to share the incredible memories of the last 10 years, whether it was stopping for a bottle of wine mid-run, not sure who we were kidding with that exercise routine. <laughs> Countless cafe stops, so there is a bit of a theme. Many adventures away. I've enjoyed every day and I can't wait for what's to come. I'm so fortunate to have met such a kind companion for life, whether it's making it making her move into a house without a kitchen, <laughs> or the, getting her to agree that a skiing honeymoon was a good idea. <laughs> it's happening, by the way. <laughs> her sportive nature, yeah. It's no exception uh, to say that she's put more than a fair share into planning this fantastic day. Jenny, thanks so much for always being there and making our wedding a reality. <laughs> In the presence of God and before this congregation, Genevieve Rose Godwin and Christopher David Pascoe have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They've declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. You may kiss your bride. When, as you, we did the inevitable Google on how on earth to write a best man speech, the instructions were to tell you lot how we first knew that Chris and Jenny were meant to be. Now I'd love to tell you it was the way that Chris used to chat about Jenny when you know she wasn't in the room or behind yeah. closed doors, or the way we'd just occasionally see Chris staring at her across the table, but I'd probably be lying. <laughs> I think the real moment that I knew they were meant for one another is the first time that I heard Jenny say, Stop being a prat. <laughs> <laughs> the delivery was perfect, and most surprisingly, it worked. <laughs> now, Jenny, we think it's that exact skill set that makes you the perfect wife for Chris. Over the last nine to ten years, we've had the privilege of getting to know Jenny and realising for once what a sensible decision Chris has made in asking you to marry me. She matches Chris's energy, but she packages it with determination and decisiveness. Building our life together while smashing out med school in Newcastle, whilst Chris was off doing whatever he does in the Navy all around the UK. <laughs> it's really testament to your tenacity. Starting work as a doctor over the last couple of years we've had requires strength and emotional honesty that's really difficult to convey in this setting. And Jenny's done it all 
whilst balancing the mother of all renovation projects. <laughs> <laughs> what shines through, however, when you really get to know Jenny, is the sense of humour that allows Chris to get away with all that silliness. <laughs> <laughs> she has an infectious laugh, and she radiates fun, and she's a sheer joy to be around. this speech because I know you're all hungry <laughs> by proposing another toast. In Jenny we are incredibly excited to welcome a fourth musketeer. <laughs> we know that your lives together will rarely be dull and equally be fulfilled with love and a lot of hidden chocolate. <laughs> if we could all stand. So our toast is to Mr and Mrs Pascoe. Here's some more mischief, eh? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>